Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Firstly, uh, thanks for the people that have actually come and joined the forums. I'm glad to see these things are starting to come alive. One of the questions that's been coming up uh, a few times in a few different areas, and I'll just highlight one of them here, has been the comments on the Kickstarter page several times, is about screen resolutions and setup. So we've got Mogador asking it here. I'm hoping I'm actually getting the pronunciation of that right. So I'm going to take you through the way that I've got things set up here, and hopefully that's going to help you guys out. Now, I'm doing this on Windows 8. It's not hugely different on Windows 7 or XP, if any of you are still using that. Um, there are some minor differences, but I wouldn't expect any of you to struggle too much. So if you go back to your desktop, and please excuse the lovely photograph of my wife and I, uh, and go into your screen resolution settings, you will see something like this. Now, I've actually got three displays coming up here. You will probably only have two. Um, just ignore that for the purpose of this video. The way that I've been doing this is I've got the antivirus connected to the HDMI on the laptop. I've got the USB is connected, the main one, not the one that's branching off, which is giving me the mouse input, which you can actually see here. If I move the VR device, we are getting movement on the mouse. Um, so the first thing that I've been doing is obviously putting on the headset, which I'm not going to do here, and using the Windows key and P, you should get a menu come up like this. Now, in that, you can tell it that you only want to display to the second screen. So if we just turn that on, just sleep. And hopefully this is still capturing. Give me a second, I'm going to put the headset on. Right. So what you should have now is set up like this, that you see is only outputting the VR device. Now you want your resolution set to 1280 by 720, and for your orientation you want to set it to landscape flipped. Now if you can, these other two displays here, or one display in your case, you should have this option of disconnecting the display. To be honest, I've found that does actually help, so I would recommend doing that if you can. Um, obviously, to change back to your normal mode, again, if you press the Windows key and P, you will get the same screen come back up, and then obviously just change it back to PC screen only. It is easiest to do this in the actual device. If you happen to get your computer stuck, uh, in this mode through uh, safety, uh, sorry, through a standby or a reboot or whatever, um, the best way to actually get out of it is, I'm assuming you know your password, so log into the system, uh, press Windows P and then press up two or three times and press enter. Now that will actually give you back some type of display to your laptop. Um, you might be able to use the shortcut keys in the keyboard. Personally, I couldn't, but that could just be the setup on my machine. Anyways, hope this helps and it's not been too long-winded, and thanks again.